Hey guys, it's Thomas T. Genby. I'm a board certified plastic surgeon and your TikTok friend. Today we're gonna to be talking about all things BBL versus butt implant, coming right up. All right guys, let's qualify some terms here. So BBL means Brazilian butt lift. I guess in, back in the day, instead of getting a true butt lift, which is an incision across your back into, the, into your crack of your gluteus, and back across your back, we call that a seagull that lifts your butt skin. The Brazilians had decided to call it a lift because they're actually adding volume, which tends to lift something a little bit. Uh, you can see that in breast dogs where the, the, the breasts are a little bit droopy, you add an implant and it creates a lift to it. Not a great lift, one to two centimeters most of the time, maybe three. So that's how Brazilian butt lift. It really should be called Brazilian butt fat augmentation, but I digress. So in a BBL, what we do is we go all the way around your body with the upper abdomen, lower abdomen, flanks, upper back, turn you around to the upper back and the posterior flanks. You can always add on like your arms, your chin, your medial thighs, your legs, your knees, almost anything can be added on, but that is the standard BBL. It's a 360 around the trunk. After I take all that fat, we put it into a special canister, okay? And then at the end of the me taking all the fat, I remove some of the blood, leave a little bit in, and then I mix it up using air. And after we mix it up using air, it turns into this liquid that is part blood and part fat. That fat is almost like a milkshake. And what happens is I then reverse the, um, the liposuction uh, cannula and the apparatus, and then it pushes the fat back into the buttocks area. Now, some of the risks, right? You've been reading a lot of risks, and, and, and I hear about it. However, if you know the anatomy of the buttocks, which means I stay away from the midline, which is right next to the crack all the way down the leg, that's where the buttocks vessels are. But I tend to stay on the outward where you guys want it anyway. You want that inverted heart shape, which starts at the bottom of the butt and then curves upward and tapers off to a nice snatched waist. So BBL is safe in the right hands if you know where the zones are. So that's placing fat. Well, Dr. Jenmy, what if I wanna do a tummy tuck? So some of you guys come in and wanna do a tummy tuck before the BBL. Well, that can't happen, right? Because I'm taking all the fat during the tummy tuck. So you have two choices. You can do the BBL first and then do a tummy tuck in three to six months or you can do BBL tummy tuck at the same time, but you can't do a tummy tuck first. What about BBL versus butt implant? So a butt implant is actually a hard, harder material, although they've made them super soft these days. I started doing butt implants about 17 years ago. They were a lot harder. Now they're really almost, almost as soft as a breast implant. What we do is we, we go into the midline of the crack of the butt, make two incisions, and then I use a technique called intramuscular. So in the old days, the implants were sitting on top of the muscle and you could flip them. That's, you see those old YouTube videos of the implant flipping. Now what we do is, here's the muscle and I make a cut into the muscle and we fillet the muscle open like pita bread. I stick the implant in and I close the muscle over it so it's stuck within the muscle. And other, uh, another type of way you can put it in is under the muscle. So it'd be, here's the muscle and the implant would sit here. The problem with that is that it sits on the sciatic nerve and give, can give you sciatic nerve pain and muscle weakness. I like the intramuscular technique. It's the technique of choice for most of us doing buttocks implants. I hope this clears some of this up. Butt implant versus BBL. And oh, another thing is, everybody asks when you can do a secondary BBL. Well, obviously you have to gain weight again. Usually between three and six months, I'll allow it. I like to see what happens at one year but if you really have to push it, six months is probably the good time. It allowed you to gain more weight so we can do it again. I hope this is all things BBL versus butt implant. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you soon here at the Plastic and Cosmetic Center. <music>